am just really pleased to resume the second part of the morning with our next speaker, uh, who is June Kaminsky. And June is a PhD candidate in curriculum and pedagogy studies at UBC, uh, and her focus is educational technology, informatics, aesthetics, and distance education for nursing. And her complete bio can be found in your materials. And today she's going to talk about harnessing nursing informatics for voice, action, and networking. So please welcome June. Thank you very much. I hope I, everyone can hear me. And thank you very much for having me here. And when I listen to my bio, it doesn't, it sounds sort of surreal to me because my real bio is I started um, in informatics as working as a computer trainer on a ward at Lionsgate Hospital. This was about 1987. And from there, my journey in informatics has pretty much been self-taught. And I think that's the story of most people up until this point, that our uh, whole education, our, our ability to become skilled, etc., in working with computers and really making them serve us, not just being something we have to use to chart, etc., is really difficult, and it, uh, we need more supports, etc. Um, as you can tell from the title, my focus today isn't so much um, just on informatics, it's more looking at how you can use informatics um, for activist sorts of um, endeavors, for having voice with, for patient care, etc., and for nursing as a whole, and for networking and building your ability to collaborate, etc., with your peers and with other organizations, whether it be local or on a global scale. Now, I'm hoping I'm knowing how to do this right. Okay. So just a, a before you is basically how I'm going to approach this, just a, a kind of a review of informatics as a science, which is basically how it's usually promoted. I also want to look at it as an art, which I personally have spent quite a few years delving into, um, learning graphic design, or more or less teaching myself graphic design, etc., website development, and then using that within my practice which now is teaching. I've been a teacher at Kwantlen Polytechnic University for 21 years now, and I have worked both as a, a practice instructor and right now I'm in the theory, and basically teaching courses such as nursing research, nursing inquiry, and nurses influencing change, and good old statistics. So that's kind of my life at the moment. Um, but teaching those courses, I find I have a lot of leeway to work with new evolving nurses, um, teaching them how to be activists, etc. And I really enjoy it. It's um, really a, a wonderful part of my teaching. And actually, just as I was waiting to come in, I saw four of my old students that are now nurses, and it was really great to see them and see them out there and, and being involved. So after uh, looking at the arts, looking at how we can use it for voice, also for action, and for networking, as I said. Okay, so this is a very dry but well-known definition of what nursing informatics is. I've kind of highlighted some of the key parts because I know it's a very long quote. Um, this particular quote has been adopted by a number of organizations as being the definition of what nursing informatics is. And it does a fairly good job when you look at the science. To me, it doesn't really talk about the other things that can be done with it, though. It's way beyond the data, information, knowledge paradigm. It's way beyond making sure that you're charting properly, et cetera. I think that is probably uh, most people's experience with using it either in an administration level or in a practice setting, or if you're in education, also for using it for recording student activities, et cetera. But um, this particular definition does kind of situate informatics where it is in the Canadian landscape right now. Now this particular definition of the goal um, was um, woven or, or come up with by the Canadian Nursing Informatics Association. Uh, this is an association of associate uh, group of the Canadian Nurses Association which I just stepped down as the president of and is a group that is trying 
to promote nursing's voice within all of the different structures that are being put into place, especially at the Ottawa level, etc. So basically looking at the goal, again, you can see it's very modernist, um, very process oriented, but it does kind of emphasize the different areas, the, the typical classic quadrant, practice, education, administration and research. So it gets a l goes a little bit further, but still doesn't really touch upon the creativity, etc. that's possible. So I don't need to remind you that nurses are the largest group of caregivers within the Canadian healthcare system. We have uh, that number alone can give us a huge voice as far as determining what happens, um, as far as computerized systems go, etc. I'm not sure how familiar you are with the emerging electronic health record that's being designed um, by the federal government and other organizations of such as CIHI, the Canadian Institute of Health Information, but it's progressing and we will be moving towards this. So there's a number of different, again, quite modernist strategies to get nurses involved, mostly in Eastern Canada at the moment, but it will progress out to um, Western as well. But again, it just kind of touches and scratches the surface of what nursing informatics really is. Um, it's much, much wider perspective than um, just charting, et cetera. But as I said, I will start with the science. So this is just the basic conglomerate definition of what nursing informatics science is, combination of nursing science, information science, and computer science, which the computer science part is, is growing at a phenomenal rate. I'm sure you're familiar with the advent of social media, uh, you may be trying to keep people off using Facebook on, at work, things like that, um, but there is a lot of really um, good applications of social media as well, and uh, that those can be harnessed for a number of, of different positive outcomes. Uh, but um, computer science ranges anywhere from web design to computer um, charting, medication card administration, right up to um, innovative uh, client education, e-health, telenursing, etc. There's a lot of different branches of it that are starting to develop. This is a classic uh, way that nursing uh, informatics science is often portrayed without the bottom rung. Uh, usually it's data, information, and knowledge. So processing the data leads to information, which hopefully adds to nursing knowledge. I've added a fourth rung to it, which I think is critical, is the wisdom part, so that we know what we're doing with this data. So obviously in order to do that, we have to have a say into how these systems are set up. And that's often missing in most um, nursing information systems or hospital information systems. There isn't nursing input. Nursing has the wisdom, they know it works and they should be the ones that are at the helm of designing any system that they're going to be expected to use. And that's just at the practice level. And same goes with educators. I, my um, current PhD dissertation is focused on nursing educators and how they work with informatics. And I'm using a very critical um, approach to that in honoring their wanting to stand back and really look at do we really want to include this? Because it's not something you just jump into with, with two feet. You really need to think about it. Does this really augment my teaching? Does this really augment my practice, etc.? Or is it just more busy work? Or is it more record keeping, etc.? Okay, this slide just points out that again, the information systems are go beyond the machine. They go beyond the computer system whatever software it is that your institution uses, et cetera, the information system includes the people themselves, not just the nurses or the physicians, et cetera, or anyone else on the team, but the, the clients. Uh, so the system itself has to be looked at in that context and how is it influencing each, um, each segment of the system. Okay, this, uh, this slide is looking at, again, that nursing knowledge. So if you think of the, the triad that I showed just a moment ago, the nursing knowledge is at the top, and that was um, 
d definitively put there because the nursing knowledge itself should be running all of nursing informatics. That's what distinguishes it. I, don't, I think of nursing informatics much more as just the word informatics with nursing at the front, and that's often how it's thought, because you've probably heard the term medical informatics, pharmaceutical informatics, community informatics. There's almost every discipline has, is starting to um, focus on their own discipline within that particular context. But also, um, you may recognize the diagram that's beside the definition of knowledge. Um, it includes, I don't know if you've heard of Carper, Carper's um, model of nursing knowledge, which has also been augmented by other authors um, to include different ways of knowing. So our knowledge isn't just the data. It's not just the information that we're gathering, et cetera. It comes from a number of different layers. So all of these different layers, whether it's ethical, personal, social, political, et cetera, all of these ways of knowing should be brought into the context of how um, computer systems, et cetera, are used within practice. Again, then leading to nursing wisdom, um, the, the little diagram that accompanies this definition uh, is based on Patricia Benner's work of looking at clinical context, moving from novice to expert. But also there's more to it than that. It also really requires um, what in education we've defined as praxis. In fact, when we teach nursing, the nursing students spend, well, it depends on the year, but about eight hours in practice, and then four hours in praxis with their instructor and their practice group each week, where they actually, they sit and reflect and really go over what is it that they experienced and what did it mean to them and to their clients, etc. so that hopefully, you know, hope they still do it, that they'll take that practice of praxis away with them and apply it within their own practice once, once they graduate. And that's supposed to help lead to the building of wisdom, etc. So this particular diagram is just a more elaboration on the whole process of praxis. So we're looking at reflection in action reflection on action, and reflection for action. It is that third one that I think really helps to lead to activist types of pursuits and activist um, ideas and so forth. So that each of these pieces are something that you probably do all the time when you're in practice or what, whether you're uh, administrator or whatever that it, it, your, your particular role is. You probably do this without even thinking about it about it that, that you're doing, but in the education setting, we deliberately ask them to reflect on these different pieces. What happened? What could be done better? Um, what would you do in the future? Or if they're talking about, say they're in the Nursing Influencing Change course, uh, what are you going to work on to help promote change within this particular societal issue and things like that? So praxis is really important part of combining nursing knowledge and developing nursing wisdom. Again, I've just um, threw in this last slide to be put the, the end of the science part of it, in that, of course, as you know, privacy and confidentiality have always been our mandate, um, whether we're scrawling it on a little piece of paper or we're, or we're punching it into a computer. But it's, as you can imagine, um, it's a very big issue, especially as we move into the electronic health record. We're gonna have someone's data all within one little electronic device, that's very precious cargo, if you think about it. Um, we have to be really diligent, et cetera, and I think it's gonna be nurses that are gonna be the gatekeepers and the ones that have to keep that information safe and, and make sure that the clients know their rights uh, related to that information. Okay, this is just a little diagram that tries to weave together um, how I particularly see nursing informatics. So the science is important, yes, but it's only one rung of the whole wheel, et cetera. Um, the art of it, um, which I'll go into in a second, is also very important, as well the wide scope approach to it. I think it's really important to see nursing informatics as any use of technology. In fact, you could even consider using um, an electronic thermometer as being informatics because just the way that you use it 
the way that you approach that client, etc. You don't just shove it into their mouth, etc. You do it with professionally and carefully, and, and um, you know, with regard to their comfort, etc. So everything like that is part of the art, and also the wide scope it reaches, and it's becoming faster and faster. Um, as we have more of these technologies available to us, anyone can go and make a video and put it online. As you know, I don't know if you're, if you know people who do that, maybe people in your own household, but you can uh, literally uh, contribute to uh, a growing uh, repository of education, uh, resources, etc., that people can access. Uh, but what we need, and the things that I've put it in the the green wheel around it are, are lacking in Canada. We don't have a lot of professional development available to help nurses to be able to use technology in ways that they really want to use it. We don't have a lot of resources that look at developing competencies. We do have some leadership. Here in British Columbia, it's pretty um, low though. Uh, as I said, the Canadian Nurses Informatics Association is representing all Canadian nurses, but we don't, we have a hard time keeping a group going here in British Columbia. Our history, there's been startups of provincial groups and then they've kind of disbanded, etc. So it, that's something that uh, I personally would like to see happen again and have it thrive. Um, also, we need more research and education. Our education um, programs in Canada are pretty sparse as far as nursing informatics goes. We do have a health informatics program at the University of Victoria though.